So, right honorable speaker, for this house to sit today, when our youth, the Gen Z's that you like so much, and that is your generation, are being refused to march to this house, right honorable speaker, to bring, the, to bring their petition. Hmm? Right honorable speaker, people are now, people have been detained in several police stations. People have been detained. Right honorable speaker, are we, are we proceeding very well? No. If Thank we you. sit in this house when the law is totally being disbanded, Thank we are you. acting out of the constitution, outside the law, right honorable speaker. Is it, is it intentional on the side of the NRM to oppress everyone? Thank is it intentional? The prime minister should come out and explain, Madam, come and explain to this country. Why are you, why are you acting informally? Even under where circumstances, when you know the law, you are here misinterpreting the law purely. In your favor, you misinterpreted. So, right, Honorable Speaker, I want to thank you for directing very well. But we cannot proceed to handle business here. I'm not directing. But it is human to think about the opposition beyond. We are citizens of this country and we should be given equal time, equal space to express our... From Mitiana Municipality and other citizens, they are in Luzira as we speak simply because they went to attend a regular press conference at their party's political headquarters for the avoidance of doubt the national unity platform headquarters Rural speaker i think it would be a good thing for government to help us understand the seeming double standards there are because several other political entities keep operating but for some it doesn't get to happen to the extent that even members of parliament who are going to their party headquarters to attend a press conference together with other people get to be bundled up and roughed up and they're in jail apparently for going to attend an unlawful assembly i think it would be good that government helps us understand that matter commissioners of parliament first before we go outside there are questions that have been asked by virtue of the political offices that we hold ugandans want those answers that is why people were marching to come and get the answers from parliament because we the representatives cannot give them the answers they want we are being accused as parliament that we are corrupt i'm an mp i am not corrupt can we take an initiative to explain to the people of uganda the questions they ask of us even before they take the drastic step of coming to the streets because the situation that happened today most of you the inconvenience that i had to pass through as a member of parliament to come to do my constitutional duty in office was too much and we were being harassed even some of us who left our ids the parliament ids it took time for us to be verified to come here i don't want to go through that every day when i come to work here so i ask you mr speaker that when you retreat to your chambers think through and all the leaders and provide answers if you have been accused of a please try to provide an answer we don't want ugandans to come they are already saying if they cannot access us here in this parliament they will go to our homes i cannot take that for granted me i don't have a police officer I don't have security. Many of you have security, combat what I don't have. I move as I am here. And my home nobody has visited. I don't want to be accused of being part of the loot, part of the corruption. Each and every person accused should answer in line with the provision of this constitution. 